a friend called me and told me I needed to get out here to the Lake Charles Gun Club, that they were about to be doing some explosive demonstrations. And if there's one thing that I've learned, when somebody calls you and tells you, we're about to blow stuff up, you go. A group of explosives experts from all over Louisiana gathered recently at the Lake Charles Gun Club to demonstrate the various types of explosives available that could be used in terrorist-related situations. Members of the TSA, U.S. Army, and local law enforcement were all in attendance. Our team of experts started out by mixing mostly standard household items that when mixed together would ignite. Now we won't go into detail of what these exact items are or which ones were mixed with one another, but you get the general idea. We just don't want this to turn into a terrorist how-to video. Mm -hmm. Now when mixed together, some of these household items simply caught fire or ignited. While others, when mixed together, actually exploded. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's a household item. Now one pretty interesting fact that was pointed out to us was that most of these household items when mixed together, you'll notice that the smoke is a white or light color, whereas the military grade or commercial grade explosives typically have a black or darker colored smoke, and you'll see that later on in the video. Now some of these household items required a little bit more precaution to handle because they ignited so much faster than some of the other items did. Then it was time to move on to the stuff that goes bang. First we blew up a mailbox. Then we blew up a chicken. Now I'm not sure if you noticed this, but check this out. When we blew the chicken up, notice the detonation wire on the ground. It's actually an electrical pulse that follows along that wire and it lights the wire up as it heads to the target to detonate it. Check this out. Then we got into things that really go bang. Notice the darker and gray colored smoke that we discussed earlier. And what's a good explosives demonstration without a little C4? And without further ado, it was time for the headlining act, what they call the Hollywood shot, a culmination of explosives, gas, and whatnot. I'm betting you'll recognize it. No puppies, trees, insects, or old people were harmed during the filming of this video. And of course, taking no chances with safety, Lake Charles' finest, the Lake Charles Fire Department was on hand to distinguish the blazes. That was cool. I mean, that was really cool. These guys blew stuff up, burned stuff. Uh, the Hollywood explosion was really, really cool. I want to thank everybody at the Lake Charles Gun Club, the uh, Louisiana State Police, uh, the, the U.S. Army, everybody that came out here, put this thing on, had a good time. Uh, it was really cool. Very informative. Again, we, we, we didn't want to make this a how-to video for terrorists mm -hmm. out there that are looking to blow stuff up. So we, we left a lot of the details out that were actually described and explained out here. If you ever have a chance to sit in on something like this, um, you'll, get, you'll get an idea more of the detail that we could not share with you for obvious reasons mm -hmm. uh, if you go check it out in person. But really, really cool. Um, had a good time. I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. <laughs>